It's about stopping the behaviours and stopping those misogynistic and victim-blaming behaviours that we've all seen. We want to see a society where that is called out and it doesn't happen in the first place so that women and girls are not forced to run away or, or, or hide away, they can live their lives in full. So VORG is a slightly strange sounding word which stands for violence against women and girls. It's about tackling the different offences linked to VORG but it's also tackling the attitudes, the behaviours and the ways that um, boys growing up and men think about girls and women. People are at the heart of our strategy and our work and when I say people that's women and girls across the country um, including a lot of people I know as well who've contributed and spoken from the heart about their own experiences and we want to do the right thing. I think the violence against women and girls strategy means a lot to me as a survivor myself I understand what the impact that violence um, can have on your life but I also know the fact that it is preventable. This strategy gives us an opportunity as a country I think to have a conversation about how uh, we want the future to look for our women and girls and the environment in which we want them to grow up. It is about tackling the behaviour at the root cause. Uh, for me, this strategy is the first time we've explicitly addressed the need to change society as a whole. It's really, really rewarding to be in the role and know that at this moment in history, so many organisations, individuals and women and girls themselves are calling for change. I personally feel a real sense of mission and determination to try and keep women safer in this country.